A Charlottetown video game company is making new waves on Facebook. Byte Games has had huge success in recent months with a game for the iPhone. Now it's trying to reach out to an even bigger audience. Steve Bruce reports. In most workplaces, spending endless hours on Facebook is frowned upon. It's sort of like misty at the edges. Yep. But here at Byte Games, it's very much encouraged. I think it's probably easy to ask how many hours I've not been on it. Uh, I may go home uh, in the evenings, but I'm usually on the computer playing and checking and making sure everything's going smoothly. So we'll leave the... What all these designers, programmers and artists are doing on the social networking site is trying to turn this game into the newest Facebook fad. It's called Trade Nations and since Byte Games launched it for the iPhone last November, the island company's quickly risen to gaming stardom. It's, um been consistently ranked uh, as one of the top grossing um, apps since its launch in November. It has to date over 300 million game sessions and, uh, and over 3 million users. Trade Nations allows users to build medieval villages. They can buy, sell and trade commodities and put villagers to work. The game's actually free to play, but there is a catch. Users can and do pay real money to bite games to get ahead of other players. You can do everything in the game for free. But if you want it to go faster, if you want to progress for faster than your friend, uh, then you can spend some money. So a house might take you half an hour to build, but if you want to build your house instantly, then you can pay uh, a small amount of money to do that. A, bunch of that are a small amount that's added up to big dollars for Byte Games. The CEO won't get into specifics, but he says his company has grossed millions through trade nations for the iPhone. Uh, Which is why at the beginning of May it expanded and launched on Facebook. It made sense to bring it to a new platform. Uh, it's obviously capture a new market that necessarily don't use iPhones or iPads. Uh, so Facebook's a huge demographic. The one advantage of games on Facebook is that we can change it every day and respond quickly to our users. So if our users tell us that there's something that they really don't like or it's something that's broken, we can respond to it immediately. So far, just 7,000 users have downloaded the Facebook game. But given the success of Trade Nations for the iPhone, Duncan's confident this version will prove a profitable venture as well. Steve Bruce, CBC News, Charlotte.